Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing in the Beast. As promised on my undercarriage cleaning video, um, I did promise you a quick rundown on how to work out FDRs, which is final dilution ratios, or PIRs, which is panel impact ratios. They're the same thing, okay? Just called two different things. <laughs> Um, so typically this has come about because, uh, as I said, I was doing my undercarriage cleaning video um, using Built Amber Atom Mac. Um, I know Built Amber on their autofoam also give you a target FDR, P PIR, um, but on Atom Mac they're targeting me to get somewhere between 3 and 5% FDR. Now that is the ratio of product to water that's coming out of the end of the final piece of the jet wash, okay? So you can't just whack... 5% of this into your snow foam bottle and expect it to come out at the same rate because it won't, okay? You're adding more water as the jet wash goes through the snow foam lance. Um, so what you're gonna need to do is work out how much of this goes into your snow foam bottle to produce that final panel impact ratio. So as I said, mine has come about because I'm doing an undercarriage clean. So using the Karcher undercarriage cleaner, there's another video on this, um, you can also get this attachment. Now this is for dispensing product using the undercarriage cleaner. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work out how much of this I need to put in this to get between 3 and 5% out of the end. Now I'm going to choose the lower end of that, so I'm going to target 3%, okay? So what are we going to do to work this out? So we've got some maths here on the board. It's These are just explanations and this is the formula you need to use. Really, really, really easy. So we take F being a full lance, typically one litre. We work everything in milliliters, so a thousand mil. D is the dispensed lance. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill the lance up with water, a thousand mil, or however much this lance takes. You'll be typically doing this for your snow foam lance, but I'm gonna, it's, it's the same process. So I'm going to fill that up with water measure how much that is so that is my f i'm then going to dispense this using the jet wash so that's just full of water i'm going to dispense this into a bucket until this is empty then measure the amount of water in the bucket that is d your dispensed lance also in milliliters t is your target fdr so if your target fdr is three percent that will t equals three and P equals the amount of product to use in milliliters. So that's the final amount of product that we need to know to put into this to get our 3% out the other end. So P is your dispensed lance times by your target impact ratio over 100. So you'll work out 3 over 100, which will be 0 0.03, times that by your dispensed lance, and that will give you your P. You'll have a number in milliliters, let's say around about 100 mil, You'll put 100 mil in this, so P, put 100 mil into a lance and fill to F. So that's a full lance, so you'll just top that up with water. Then hopefully, if you've done all your maths right, when you jet wash this onto the car and dispense this onto the undercarriage or through your snow foam lance or whatever, you will hit your PIR ratio. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated. Um, and if it is, just always refer to this. So all of this is just literally what each of these things are. And that is the formula. So P equals D times and then T over 100. Easy enough to do. So I'm going to run through this now, show you how I do it very quickly, and then we'll go and put it on the car. Again, you can see that in the under chassis cleaning video. This isn't about the under undercarriage cleaner. It's just to show you how to get that PIR ratio in actual terms. So the first thing we're going to do is fill our lance container up with water. If your lance has readings on the side just use them and fill it up to the nearest round value to 400 500 600 mil etc this doesn't have any markings on so what i'm going to do is i filled that up just going to pour that out and just take a measurement of how much water that holds which is 250 mil so quite a nice round number so 250 milliliters there. So we're going to put that back in. Attach that back onto our lance. And 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and attach this to the pressure washer and dispense all of this liquid out of here. So we'll keep dispensing until all of this liquid is gone and we'll dispense this into a bucket so we can measure what we've dispensed. So I've got my lance, got the tank full of water, got my bucket and now I'm just going to dispense all of this until this is gone into this bucket. So I'm just going to measure that out now using a couple of jugs to bail this out and we'll get a measurement. So now we've worked everything out, we can fill this in. So a full lance was 250ml. Bear in mind, we're using the very small Karcher lance using a bigger lance guys I suggest you use that as a set figure of 1000 millilitres one litre a dispensed lance so that was after we ran that 250 mil into a bucket we came out exactly at eight litres our target FDR was three percent now we have to do something with that we have to divide that by a hundred so that comes out at 0.03. So what we need now is P equals D times T. We've already done the divide by 100. So it's 8,000 times by 0.03. And that comes out at 240 mils. <laughs> that tells us two things. One, we've got to put P into the lance and fill it to F with water. So we're only going to be putting 10 mils of water into this with 240 ml of neat product. That tells us that this is operating at pretty much capacity at 3% FDR out of that nozzle. You will not get any more than 3% out of one of these. You will out of one of these. There'll be a lot more coming through and you'll hit higher percentages if you want to. Um, you'll be adding more water into one of them. But with this, what it's saying is, is that at pretty much 3%, I would say probably around about 3.2%, this will be operating at its maximum capacity. So if you were trying to put a product in that was aiming for 5%, this is not going to cut it, but the other lances will. But we'll just get that out there as to why that number is so high in relation to that one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and put my 240ml of Atomac in here, top it up with 10ml of water, and we'll crack on with the truck. So hopefully that was easy enough for you to understand. Now there are a couple of things to mention. Um, one, PIR or FDR does vary on a number of things. One being, if you've got a snow foam lance, Changing the dilution on the top, so adding more water to product, you're going to have to work out a new FDR every time you change that setting. Um, so it is worth working out what this is at the maximum and noting it down, so, because that's typically how you use snow foams. It also makes a difference, obviously, if you're changing the setting, that if you change the lance. So, as I say, I've used it today with this. This doesn't have any setting in terms of product to water ratios. But it is a different lamp, so it will have a different PIR. Again, I have these little cheap AliExpress foam lances. Um, there is a video on these as well if you want to go and check that out. But again, this has a dilution ratio, dilution knob on the top. Again, change that or change the lance, and you're going to have a different PIR again. So what I'm saying is, you're likely going to have to work this out more than once. So make sure you're familiar with the process. Or if you do use a product quite frequently, like Bill Tambor Autofoam, have a lance dedicated for Autofoam if you can. And just dial that, keep that dial exactly the same and work out your PIR ratio once and you don't have to do it again. So only a quick video this week, guys. As I say, not difficult to work out. Hopefully this will be of use to somebody, though. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button. I'll catch you on the next video. Goodbye.